Magic Carpets is a Creative Europe platform which connects 15 arts organisations across Europe. It focuses on developing artists, curators and communities to develop together and create new art projects. The Festival of Looking is a weekend arts festival that is hosted by Urban Room Folkestone and kind of produced by Folkestone Fringe, which asks people to rediscover the place they live in. It's about noticing and reflecting on the spaces and places around us. The fabric of this place, the people and the idea of change and that we are always in a process of change and that that can feel great and it can feel unnerving. It's been extraordinary times, but of course it's the detail on the ground that allows you to cope with what's happening on a global scale and how we connect with each other. And the Festival of Looking is about noticing. It's about noticing the detail of where we live. So Mary Conroy is an Irish artist and we invited her to do a Magic Carpets residency and unfortunately due to the pandemic she couldn't travel to see us and so her project, What Are You Made Of, Folkestone, she was inviting people to take pictures of the fabric of Folkestone so that she could get a sense of what the town is made of. People were doing what I would have been doing if I was there. You know, that's exactly, I would have been wandering around, taking a few photographs, looking at things, you know. I can live vicariously through the citizens to begin to understand how people see the city and get people to look at it a bit harder as well, to look at these things and maybe for them to understand their own city a bit better. We're working really collaboratively. I almost feel a little bit like I've been Mary's like surrogate body. <laughs> But I actually feel like that's fostered quite a nice relationship between us. Somewhere in our conversations our paths crossed and we kind of went off in slightly different directions but we we're both kind of looking at the kind of historic side of, of Folkestone and what's, what's left there and how people feel a part of the environment and how they connect to it and how they represent their connection. Craig developed his own project uh, which was called Pent Happenings and he wanted to find out more about the history of flooding in Folkestone, how much other people know about it, and of our ever-changing relationship with water, with the sea, past, present and future. Today we've been doing the flow rate event here, measuring the flow rate of the Pent Stream. A river that used to flow above ground through the centre of Folkestone, but now is mostly underground and people aren't necessarily very aware of it. So my work's looking at the Pent Stream in particular and the community of Ford which is just down the road here and the area of Ford has experienced severe flooding on at least four occasions in the last hundred years so I'm kind of looking at the data that comes from flood monitoring stations and other data to do with the geology and hydrology of this area. As part of his project, he invited people to come to the area where the Pent Stream comes above ground to do a flow rate survey. I'm interested in people's connection to nature, so this is a physical connection people can make by actually getting in the stream, getting to touch the water, measuring the width and the length of the stream, floating objects down to determine the velocity, and then with the other measurements we work out the flow rate. And this was then translated into a sound piece. The number of times you hear it kind of um, quiver in that last second is also telling you the flow rate. So it's, it's modulating at 0.2 uh, twice a second. So another kind of key element of the Festival of Looking and Magic Carpets this year were the projects that were also part of Black History Month, Folkestone. Ida Silvestri's I Am Fully Human artwork, Leah Thorne's Visible Invisible, and Lee Desai's Black Men Are. Which was a pre-recorded conversation to really talk to a group of black men about um, black identity and what that really meant to them. I think everyone sort of sat up and took in and appreciated that, wow, that's kind of not, not right. As black people, we need to be accepted in this town. So I wanted to create really vibrant and colourful portraits that highlight 
the presence of black people in this town. I want it to be a celebration. It was really nice to go around Foxton and the surrounding, take those portraits. Personally, art can bring change and can bring communities together as well. I think about the idea of micro and macro change and I think we as artists acting in our micro communities do change the world because the art that is happening in Festival of Looking and hopefully in Anti Diary is an art that you can access to create community, to think about the world in a different way and it's really inspiring for me to be able to really feel and be supported. I really do think that Folks and Fringe are such an integral part of the arts in Folkestone. I've been really given a voice through Fringe, through the arts here. We've been really thinking about how we let younger people come in and we've been doing that really successfully in the last few years and they effectively are, are leading the organisation now. And it's such a privilege to be able to provide a space and a context for younger people to just try it and actually, of course, they're brilliant. You know, it's a place to make mistakes and to learn from your mistakes and that that's okay and that's actually a really important part of developing as a, a human being. It's really important to just keep trying because it's quite rare to make something that's perfect on all fronts and it's through the iterative process and failure that you get to the good stuff. And if you're feeling scared, that's probably a good sign that it might be interesting.